Okay, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the leaf litter bag. So, a um, whole variety of mesh sizes and types of mesh bags that you can use to contain leaf litter. Usually you weigh out a specific known quantity of leaf litter and place it in a bag, often including a metal ID tag so that you know exactly how much this leaf litter weighed when you put it in the stream. And then uh, you close it off, attach it to some uh, anchoring device, a piece of rebar or a log or something in the stream. And then you let it sit in the stream, get colonized by microbes and aquatic insects and let them shred on it and decompose the leaf litter over time. You would collect a certain number of leaf litter bags at different dates throughout your study so that you could create a decomposition curve showing decomposition or mass loss through time um, out of these, these leaf litter bags. This one has maple leaves in it so it has to be kind of big but sometimes you're dealing with something really small or like pine needles and so you need a much finer mesh size and sometimes you need a smaller or a bigger bag, depending on the type of leaf that you're working with.